Behind me is the amphibious robotic turtle. It features morphing limbs that morph between a flipper shape and a leg shape for efficient locomotion in water and on land, respectively. It has a kinematic chain in the shoulder joints, three servo motors that form a, a three degree of freedom shoulder joint, electronics, controllers, all protected within the turtle shell. And then all of the soft robotic technology is in the limbs because that's what we're morphing. And so it uses coupled soft actuators and variable stitches materials coupled along the length of the limbs in order to achieve that morphology change between a flipper shape and a leg shape. Aquatic locomotion and terrestrial locomotion are very different and use entirely different propulsion systems. If we have a robot that can efficiently locomote across multiple environments and can adapt to those different environments, you send out one platform. A robot that is more efficient can be out in the field longer, can collect more continuous streams of data in these environments that we are interested in monitoring.